and everyone this is dheeraj from it department today we are here at a very interesting session and the topic is top 10 skills in india which will be beneficial for all the students they will know how we can get a career that will be best for us and today we have with uh, vani sah madam vani sah is a marketing professor working with indian institute of digital education a management professional holding immense interest in marketing and digital media she has trained almost 1000 student for online digital skills she has completed her graduation from narsi monji college of commerce and economics she loves teaching that is the main thing uh, she is here so welcome ma'am i would like to hand over mic to you vani ma'am yes hi hi yes ma'am you can start your talk uh hi 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 everybody a very good afternoon all you guys i am quickly going to share my screen and we're going to start with today's session uh just give me a minute okay awesome guys so my i have already been introduced very nicely with the uh, by sir so i'm going to move ahead and go beyond my introduction so uh, by the end of this session all of you guys will receive a link by the faculty in charge and you have to fill in this form for me and after you're done filling in the form this is the certificate that you will receive uh, in the next seven working days so if you want to receive your certificates ensure that you're filling in the form for me so let's get started guys and the only the only and the most important the question that comes to my mind is where is india currently Now, if I talk about where is India currently, I'll tell you guys that we've seen major four changes in the last five years, and these five, uh, these four changes are predominant in bringing in the digital, uh, digital transformation into our society. So let's discuss these top four changes, guys. And to, uh, you know, kind of simplify this process out here, I've kind of listed out the first change in before after format. So the data price before 2016 in India was somewhere around 250 rupees per month, where we had access to one GB internet per month. So you know anybody who came asking for hotspot, we'd be like, "Chal bhag nahi dega." It was that difficult back then to share hotspot or to share internet with your audience, and you would also use it sparingly. You'd only use internet when you wanted to chat; otherwise, you'd put it off on your phones. But in today's time, guys, data price after 2016 has now become 250 rupees per month for one GB internet per day, guys. So now, all the internet that you used over a period of one month, you're using the same quantity of internet on for one day. So one GB internet per day, giving you guys th- access to 30 to 45 GB internet per month only for 250 bucks. So the change has only been in the in, uh, in the data that's being offered to you, and not in terms of money. So that is number one, and all of this is only possible because of none other than Mukubhai Ambani. Because of this revolutionary human being out here, we've got access to minimum of one GB internet per day, guys. So that is number one, and a very quick fun fact for you guys that India is the world's cheapest country in terms of internet data, guys. Moving on to the second uh, second change in uh, into India, uh, you know, in the last five years is cheap smartphones. For the only reason that smartphones are available for as cheap as three thousand four hundred rupees, that's it. So this is the second most reason, guys. And again, a fun fact, guys: India is the second cheapest country in terms of smartphones. So number one is of course China, and after that comes India. So cheap internet and cheap smartphones are the two major reasons so far that we've seen. And now, when we see the third reason out here, he is our Prime Minister, Mr. Modi. Now, this human being out here has always, since his, he's taken up the seat, he's always promoted digital India. And I'm I'm sure you guys all know the evening, the 8 p.m. evening during the day when he announced demonetization, guys. 
that was the time where all the companies like paytm gpay phone pay all the bhim upis they had seen the dawn of the day so that's all because of this human being out here that's narendra modi so he was always promoting this concept of digital india guys and lastly today because of covid your entire world has moved online in fact your entire education system has moved online and that is like today you and i were interacting online and for the best fact guys you are seeing you are watching this lecture through facebook right now with me so this is all a part of digital revolution that we've seen in the last 5 years guys so let's understand uh, what exactly did covid 19 do to businesses well covid 19 has forced digital transformation of businesses and india is no longer india now but india is now digital india guys It's all because of the four changes that we've seen: that your uh, cheap smartphone, cheap internet, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, and COVID. Because of these four reasons, India is now digital India, guys. And and for a fact, guys, I'm going to show you how you guys look just before you fall asleep in the night while you guys are using your smartphones. So this is you, this is me, this is our parents, this is everybody around us using smartphones before you fall asleep in the night. So everybody is checking out their Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, chatting with somebody on WhatsApp, or you guys are watching something on Netflix. But at the end of the day, all of us are using our smartphones to watch something or the other, and all of us are using internet. So this is how we all look, guys. And let's look at a few businesses now. Of all these, all these apps that you see on my screen right now, I'm sure most of you guys use most of these applications, or some of these applications at least. So if all these applications have survived online businesses, guys. Let's look at a few industries that have survived as well. So if you aspire to seek a job in any of these industry, guys, trust me, all of these industries are online. Be it from your food and beverage industry to your travel, you always have Ola Uber at your footstep because I understand Parul University is based out in uh, Surat, I suppose. And I have a sister who is studying from there. She always tells me that auto rickshaws are really expensive. She's studying medicine out there, and she always tells me that she has to go through Ola Uber because auto rickshaws they really charge a lot because you guys do not have a meter based system like us in Mumbai. So Ola Uber definitely booming around. If you wish to have a career in these companies, definitely a thumbs up. Then fintech companies, all of your mobile wallets to make payments are using. All of them are online. Like girls, guys, if you guys are really interested in fashion, that industry is online as well. Entertainment and banking is no longer behind. All the public banks are today coming online, and all of them have got their own banking applications today, their own banking websites today. So this is definitely a positive sign, which tells us that India is no longer India, but now India is a digital India. It has transformed itself, and COVID nineteen has done nothing good but one thing that it has actually helped businesses go online. It has actually promoted and shown businesses the real essence of digital marketing. So let's move ahead, guys, and let's look at uh, businesses that will survive COVID era. Will surely, uh, will surely be called as digital businesses, guys. And if businesses are called digital businesses, then it will require the paying skills that are digital skills. Because only and only then the businesses will survive into this tough market out there. So for businesses to be called as successful, it's only going to be done because of its employees. And for employees to make their businesses successful, they need to need to have the digital skill sets. So you guys will be confused. What are these digital skill sets? Here are these four digital skill sets that you see on my screen. That's coding, designing, digital marketing, and data science. Now these four skill sets are something that I would urge that either of these skill sets are you who's a master of. I don't say uh, learn all of these skill sets. No, it's a waste of time and waste of your skills. But learn one skill set and make sure you mastering that because become a master of none and jack of all. I don't want you guys to do that. So become a master of one and jack. You know, just don't adopt to this concept. Okay, just learn one skill and make it thoroughly perfect. So let's break down each of these skill sets, and I'm gonna take an example of the brand that's Netflix and Chill. Now I'm sure all you guys know this tagline that's Netflix and Chill, and I'm gonna use the brand Netflix because. Honestly, at the end of the day, all these four skill sets are used by this company that's Netflix. 
So I want you guys to uh, learn and resemble all of these skill sets very clearly while you guys are watching me while I talk. Uh, okay, so any application that requires a structure to be built upon, okay, because you cannot have a website in the air or you cannot have an application right there out in the air. So you really need a basis. You need really need some base. I mean, you cannot just have fro when you're baking a cake, you cannot have the frosting directly in the air. You need to first prepare the dough. You need to bake that dough, and based on that dough, you're going to make your frosting. So that is how you're going to make a cake, bake a cake, basically. So for application similarly, you really need to create that background for it to survive. Now that can be only done because of coding. Coding is the only way to create the backend for yourself. Now this is how Netflix looks to you as a user and to me as a user. But this is how our Netflix look in the backend. You and I will not see this backend, but we will see something like this. So how is all of this possible? All the backend work is actually possible because of these coding applications. Now, mind you guys, you can be a front-end developer or a back-end developer, or you can be a full-stack engineer. Now, front-end is the one who manages the beauty, who manages how the front-end will look to the customer. If you are if you are a customer, what will you see on the screen? How will you see the entire layout on the screen? That is the job of the front-end developer. And how this backend will uh, will be created and ensure that the backend is stable. That's the job of a backend engineer. So very clearly, guys, this, these are the applications that we use for front end technology. That's React, Bootstrap, and these are the technologies that uh, are used by back. Uh, these are the technology that's used by the backend developer. Now, if you guys are amazing, if you guys really know it all end to end, you can become full stack developer. That's no, that's knowing front end as well as back end technologies, both of it together. So this is basically coding, and for the only reason I emphasize on coding, it's important because if you are a customer and if you see something like this, if this is shitty and crappy. You know, if you come across this, you're not going to use this application or a website at all because it's so confusing. So that is why, guys, we've got something that's front end and back end technology. And front-end and back-end engineer to help you guys sort it out. Now that a website is coded, it really needs to be designed in an effective manner that the user will love to use your website. Now, for a fact, if uh, I'm going to again take an example of Netflix because that is how I want to show you guys how Netflix has evolved from 1999 to 2021, and the journey has been fantastic. I just say fantastic. Now, UI UX, I'm sure you guys uh, have some basic knowledge. It's user interface and user experience. User interface is basically how your website or how your page looks like in user experience is how smooth is the transition for the user to use your website. Now, again, simplifying it, you guys will understand. This is how Netflix looked in 1999. Again, a very complicated page. To find the search bar also, you had to take some 10 seconds to find out where to search exactly. So if today we are shown a page like this, I'm sure none of us would want to see. So let's just go ahead and see what did Netflix do ahead to change this. Well, this is what Netflix started with in 2009 to 2012. Now, this is considerably a better page because there's a family who's, uh, who's watching uh, TV and who's watching Netflix together. Uh, now, that also means that Netflix can be watched together on a laptop or an iPhone or an iPad or a tablet. So there is no control in where you can watch Netflix. You can watch it anywhere and everywhere. And it's also giving me an option to sign up, register. So this is considerably a better page than 1999, I'd say. And that, that that's like a huge progress. But now if you go ahead and see in 2020, like this is something like a boomer. This is something like the best page I'd ever come across because it's very minimalistic. I'm, I'm shown two things out here. That is, if I have an account, then I have to just sign in. And if I'm new out here, then I just have to type my email ID and I'm done. That's it. Two things on the screen, which is making absolutely clear on how my user experience is going to be. So Netflix is very sure that how it wants its user experience to be like. And this is the minimalistic that it's focusing on, guys. Now, we can take similar examples for search engine. Now, there are two popular search engines that I can name of. That's Google and Yahoo, guys. Now, if I see Yahoo, this is a very, uh, you know, cluttered page with an advertisement. Like I'm coming to, I'm coming to Google to search something. I have, I want some information. And if I see an ad there, I'm not really convinced that I want to use the same engine again. I see news. I mean, I don't need to go on a search engine and look for the news. I have news applications like Hindu Times of India. 
or, or economic times i can just go and read out there i don't need to come to the search engine and read these news articles so no i feel this is very cluttered and i wouldn't use it but again if i see this kind of a search engine or, or a browser page i would definitely use because again very minimalistic just a search bar out here and my gmail syncing option out there that's it just the two things and i'm done i'm good to go so definitely i would use google over yahoo anytime any day now once the application is ready guys it needs to be marketed because your target audience is out there and is unaware about your product now your customers are not aware that there is a product name as uh, xyz out there there's a customer a customer who does not know that there is a product out there netflix to watch series so netflix really needs to go ahead and market itself and how is it going to market itself through digital marketing guys now again my strategy again my uh, example is going to be netflix only for the only reason that um uh you know it's actually dominating the industry or that it's dominating the ott platform sector altogether so any and every ott platform that you see interacting with each other on twitter or on instagram the battles are amazing so if you guys ever if you guys are on twitter and if you guys want to really check out what facebook and uh, what netflix amazon prime hotstar are doing just go and check the twitter battles that come across on the uh, on twitter or on instagram or uh, page that's uh, marketing minds all over marketing mad over marketing all these pages you go and check out you'll find these uh, battle screenshots so amazing battle you'll not feel is is you'll not feel as if there's an application talking to you but you'll feel as if there is a human interacting with each other netflix and hotstar are two human beings fighting with each other you'll feel like that so if you guys want to see those quirky conversations you can definitely check out uh, netflix's uh, twitter page and let's go ahead and check out the, uh, the digital marketing strategy by netflix so digital marketing at the end of the day is purely done to get the users to download or to use the product Now these are two agendas that uh, digital marketing is done for downloading and using the product. Now, if you kind of use Netflix, or if you guys have just searched Netflix once anywhere on your Chrome, you're gonna see its ads left, right, center. This is the example of YouTube ads. Not just that, guys, but you'll also see ads on Instagram. You'll see a post ad, and you will see a story ad. Now, this is something that you're gonna see on Instagram. Now, this is basically. I'm going to play this video, guys. This is a short ad which which came on my Instagram, so I kind of downloaded it for you guys. Have a look at this ad. So this is what. So this is basically the advertisement that Netflix ran for its two month uh, for uh, for its two one ninety nine rupee mobile pack. So this is something that Netflix focuses on, and this is very minimalistic, and I really liked it. I mean, it didn't have really much of an essence, but definitely all the essence that Netflix wanted to instill in the minds of the customer is there in this video. So this is something that I wanted to show you guys. And not just that, guys. Email marketing as well. Netflix sends you emails as to what do you want to watch. Uh, Netflix gives you suggestions all the time. And it, other than sending notifications on your phone, push notifications on phone, it will also send you emails. So this and thirty-day free trial to become a paid user is the strategy that Netflix is adopting on right now. It's giving you guys thirty days free, and then it will start hammering you with ads so that you end up purchasing for one more. So to facilitate users to buy again and again, marketers require a data scientist. Now, how will Netflix know that you know you purchased for free, you've used the free trial, and now you've not gone ahead? How will Netflix know that you've not purchased it exactly? So that's because of a data scientist. Data scientist has records of all the human beings out there using Netflix, is searching for Netflix, and all those people using Netflix, it will just keep on uh, promoting good shows, so you guys can continue paying for Netflix. And all of those guys who search for Netflix, it will start showing ads to at least become thirty days of free trial user. So this is the mechanism that Netflix is functioning on, and this is possible only because of the data scientists out there. So let's exactly look as to what exactly is data science, guys. And again, I'm going to take an example of Netflix itself because that's the perfect one out here. Now, my brother and I, we both use the same Netflix account. We both stay in the same house, same room. We share the same Wi-Fi. 
But now for an irony, guys, this is my recommendation. This is what I see on my phone when I'm watching, and the suggestion I get is of dark and thriller because of the only reason that I like to watch dark shows. And on the other hand, my brother is getting a suggestion of witty and suspense, uh, suspenseful kind of a show that's Sherlock. So both of us using everything, same same house, same Netflix account, same Wi-Fi, we're getting different suggestions and recommendations. Now that is only because of data science, guys. So that is. that is how data science functions uh netflix exactly knows what kind of shows i like and what kind of show my brother like so netflix is exactly showing the same kind of recommendations based on our interest because only then we'll continue using that because if netflix starts showing me sholo where basically i don't like witty kind of shows and it shows me sholo then i'm not going to become the user i'm going to stop i'm going to drop using netflix altogether and netflix does not want that Does not want that, so that is why, guys, it's always going to customize its recommendations based on the shows that I have watched earlier and I uh, and have I have my interest in. So that is basically the data science element, guys. I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this show that's House of Cards, but there was a data scientist, uh, a, a data scientist uh, observation made and an experiment was conducted. There, all those who watched House of Cards. uh which was acted by Kevin Spacey and which was directed by David Fincher have also watched David Fincher directed movie that's the social network and this experiment was a boom guys because i had seen house of cards and my immediate next suggestion was the social network and i actually ended up watching it and i like the movie altogether so this is how data science functions and i'm sure that this does not stick only to netflix guys but even amazon is using it so if you kind of see amazon and if you want to put a product to cart you're going to often see this frequently bought together so you put one thing and uh, amazon will show you suggestions of other people what are other people buying together so all of this is known to amazon only because of data science the amazon's data science is very vigilant as to what are people stocking up together and what are people bundling together and buying So, based on that understanding and the basis on that research, Amazon will show you the items to be bought together. So, if you're buying this book, Amazon is also telling you that buy these two other books. Other uh, other customers are buying these together. Now, this is only because you know at the end of the day, Amazon and the brand is making money, and you're spending money. So, again, a very uh, this is kind of playing with and manipulating with human minds behind. But again, a booming job to do that. you know definitely a lot of money behind this job so if you want to become a data scientist it's got a ton of money if you really are smart enough how to make it so this is about data science guys and this is all known to these brands because of data science so to summarize guys we got four skill sets that we've seen number 1 is coding number 2 is design number 3 is digital marketing and number 4 is data science so far we've seen four of these skill sets and you can master any of these skill sets that you think are comfortable with So, if you guys have really enjoyed this session, you guys can actually go to Instagram, put up a story of the slides that you're liking, and use this hashtag that's Upskill Online. You can uh, use the hashtag and tag IID Online and Vanisha to once if we'd be happy to see your stories, guys. Moving online, it's not uh, moving ahead, guys. It's not just me who is a men uh, who is the speaker for today telling you this. But I've got the testimonials from the best of the best sources that tell that all of the skill sets that we've just seen is a booming skill set. Number one is an article by Forbes, uh, which talks about top 15 emerging jobs in uh, in 2020 in India. So we've got backend developer, we've got full stack engineer, we've got digital marketing specialist, we've got front end engineer. So two of the skill set that we've just seen is out here. So if you really think that all of this is a waste of time, guys, you guys are way behind. Okay, you guys are in 2010, and you need to run and come back to 2021. So this is the time where we are all equipped with technology, and this is the time where we are all using social media platforms left, right, center. So this is the time where we literally learn something and do something good out here. Well, not just Forbes, guys. Even LinkedIn is telling us that digital marketing, business analysis, artificial intelligence, is data science, guys. Full stack development is your uh, coding, and digital marketing is your digital marketing. So three of these skill sets, and UX design. So all four of these skill sets that we see are the top digital skills that companies need. 
if you guys really want to get a good job in internship you really need these skill sets guys you really really need these skill sets moving on i'm also going to show you some salary ranges for the freshers as well as your salary in the next 5 years guys if you really plan to make your career in these streams well if you start with full stack developer salary you know immediately after your graduation 6 lakhs is an average that you guys can make and in the next 5 years you can expect a growth of 23 lakhs on an average it can be more as well guys so this is something that you can make your career in if you're really interested in and this is just the basis that i've shown you guys there is a lot to learn you guys will learn you guys will start implementing you guys will master yourself and then you guys will make money you guys will make more than 23 lakhs a year in the next 5 years guys again when i talk about digital marketing it's 3.7 lakhs to start with this is just a rough estimate guys it's definitely much more to all the people that i know they definitely earn a lot more than 3.7 lakhs guys in the next 5 years it's expected to be around 18 lakhs and it can be more as well based on the skill sets that you own guys Well, as a designer, you can start with five point eight lakhs or six lakhs nearly, and you can move up to fifteen lakhs or more than that in the next five years. And data scientist guys, are you guys interested in data science and artificial intelligence? Nine point five lakhs is what you can start with immediately after your graduation, and twenty four lakhs is just the number in the next five years. So, if you guys are really interested in either of these skill sets, they are literally the minting careers out there for you guys. So, if you're really interested. pick one wisely and master yourself in that well not just that you have to work with corporates all your life no you can also start working as a freelancer or a consultant since you're college going students and you want to make some pocket money good pocket money do not want to ask your parents for pocket money start learn a skill set and start minting money just like that as a freelancer guys so all the money that you have to go to parents to ask for to go on a date You don't have to do that. Basically, you can take a you can take the other one on a date just by paying for your uh, just by paying yourself. And the best part is you earn in different currencies, guys. You don't really have to earn in INR, but you can also earn in USD. Now there's an app that's called as Fiverr dot com, which you can install into your laptops and you can register yourself onto a uh, you know through your laptops on the website. And basically, you can earn in dollars. So forty three dollars per hour, forty dollars per hour, guys. You know, in India, if you were to see, you would earn five thousand rupees for one whole month, and that too slogging for eight to ten hours. Trust me, internships are tough. And here you're getting a chance to just earn that much in like one hour, in, uh, in just one hour as a freelancing project. So if you really think that it's difficult, no, guys, earning in dollars is much more convenient than earning in INR. I'm telling you this. So you can all make your accounts in Fiverr dot com, guys, and you can upload on the skill sets that you really think you are really good at. So you can definitely put up your skill sets out here and start seeking projects. Moving on, guys, how, uh, you can literally see that three thousand two hundred and twenty five seven fifty two two five zero is the average bid. Well, this is just a matter of one to two hours of work, and this is the money that out there you're making. So if you're really good, guys, Fiverr dot com is the best place to earn really good money. Okay, and if you guys really like today's session, I want you guys to go to Instagram, check out IIDs page, and also follow us because we're doing a lot of free meetups every week. So if you guys want to really upskill yourself digitally, here's a chance for you guys. So we have a free workshop every Saturday. So if you guys really want to learn. You guys can definitely follow us on IIB online, guys. We'd be happy to see you guys on our portal. And I'd like to take two to three minutes to tell you guys about the institution that I represent. That's IIB, which is India's number one digital institute, and we've been awarded by Indian Education Congress as best digital learning institute of the year. And our main programs include post graduation in digital marketing, which is like eleven months full time on campus program with two months of compulsory internship and guaranteed placements, guys. With this kind of a program, is very well suited to those students who are sure to make their careers in digital marketing and definitely graduate. Because if you're not a graduate, you cannot apply for a post graduation. But if you guys are still interested in learning digital marketing, I have something out there for you guys, and that is my IIDE 5.0 course, which is um, a video course where you get to watch pre-recorded videos, you get to attend live lectures with the trainers, 
and you also get one to one mentoring session with the trainers if you've not understood any round and the best of the best is you get access to 13 certificates well not just it guys two of them are facebook and google so you'll be facebook certified you'll be google certified and many more certifications that you will receive after this course So if you guys are really interested, you should check this course out. But I have a different recommendation for you guys. All of you guys who really are looking for uh, earning quick money out here, I have something for you. And it's nothing wrong to look for quick money, but it's extremely important that you're smart while looking for it. And I have something out here for you. That's my FB ads and uh, FB ads video plus live course, guys. So this is a course which will teach you how to do social media marketing. lot of these brands out there are looking for social media marketers and because of the only reason that you and i were on facebook and instagram you and i are scrolling facebook and instagram for hours to go together so if you want to learn how to market to customers or going through facebook and instagram for hours you can learn by this course out here my ceo that's karan shah he's going to be doing the video lectures with you guys and i'm guaranteeing that after completing this course you guys will learn to become You guys will learn social media marketing end to end, and you can start freelancing. And I can guarantee, I can write and give it to you. It's like a guarantee out there for you guys. So the total duration of the course is twelve hours. The live sessions are starting from nineteenth of May, and the timing as given out here is six thirty to eight thirty. So if you guys are really interested, my colleague will share the coupon code and link with you guys uh, over your WhatsApp soon. And the coupon coupon code is FB ads fifty, which is active only until tomorrow. So if you guys really want to learn. Here's a chance. Don't miss a chance to make your career, guys. Trust me. All your BCom, BMS, BSc, all those degrees are gonna earn you money, but this will definitely earn you quick money out there, guys. So do check out the course, guys. And if you guys are so do check out the course, guys. And that's all I have from my end, guys. If you my colleague is gonna share a feedback form link with you guys in the chat. So, Or over WhatsApp, you will receive it on your group. So do fill in the feedback form and do let me know how did you find today's session. I'd be really interested to know these details. And surely I'm sure you guys are interested to receive your certificates. Mm. So once again, thank you very much, guys. Thank you, madam. It's really interesting session, and uh, as well as precise, I can say simply it's a precise and informative means in. short duration you have explained lot many thing that we basically take semesters to explain data science then front end back end we are taking each and every subject one by one but you have taken all these things in uh, one hour that is really nice i hope it will be very useful to students especially those who want to start the career in digital marketing so initially i thought of just it will be a digital marketing but later on i realized like it will be a complete umbrella of that so it is really impressive for me and i hope every student like that the way you have explained each technology like data science all the languages that we are using all the things are connected together so hope everyone have enjoyed and they will connected with you to us or maybe we will directly connected to our department as well so sure. we are looking forward for more sessions if we will have uh, this uh, pandemic will over we will definitely try to have a live session over college itself sure. we are also organizing in campus workshops but during this pandemic we are just using this uh, platform sure we'd love and, to and uh, one more uh, thing i want to say is uh, we are also having good Thing about this uh, digital marketing, like, uh, if you will find our uh, handles of Parul University, each faculty are having all the details of university. You will find out on Facebook, Twitter, every handle, every faculty is doing, every student is doing whatever good thing is there. They are focusing on digital platform. So, and especially it will be useful those who want to do the career in this. Absolutely. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Time. and especially uh, you have given your precious time within small spam of confirmation so that is really nice for you thank you thank sir. you so much thank you thank you ma'am so we can end up the session 
Thank you.